It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Flying Man. Check it out. This is Flying Man from uh, Tom Zon. Tom Zon. Um, picked this up off Amazon. Super cool looking little RC. Comes with this itty bitty controller. But J Drone got it on T16 Pro with Hall Gimbals. So uh, let's go ahead and give this a fly. This was a feat in itself to get it on this controller because this controller, um, out of the box, the pro like a lot of the newer protocols are incomplete. So you could pop open the controller and uh, you can update the internal module or you can very simply, if you have a JP4 and one, plug it in the back um, update it and then you're good to go with the protocols that you need for certain quadcopters. Uh, as you can see, I don't know if you can see this, you can see my, I have uh, all my channels on here. It took a little while to figure out how to get this just quite right. Um, I couldn't figure out an automatic takeoff and landing on this uh, as far as channel mapping. So what you have to do is down and out or down and out or calibrate it and down and in and then up. Bam! Flying man, yes! It looks so cool. And this is my first drone where the propellers are basically on top of one another. Look at this guy. Super flying man. It's not Superman, it's flying man. He's like in a red jumpsuit with a, with a yellow jumpsuit underneath it. He's double jumped. So this thing, cool factor out the wazoo, it didn't cost hardly anything, it wasn't, wasn't expensive, and there's another one, uh, there's like, I don't know, that's holding pretty well, I don't know if I'll be able to grab this box, I'm going to try to control it, there's another one, it's called, uh, let's see, it's called C Flying Motorcycle Guy, I want to check out Flying Motorcycle Guy sometime too, I just like the style of quadcopter where, uh, we, we literally have we there are four propellers it's not just one there's one two one two and this thing's able to fly and it's able to fly really well so this is super cool this is integrating a very hobby grade controller with an extremely toy grade drone that is the great thing about these jumper controllers um, and multi-protocol controllers is the fact you can jump from something serious running 4 to 6S to a 1S proprietary charged by USB drone. And just to show you guys, we'll go ahead and stop. It should stop. It's not going to stop. Bam. There we go. That's a feature. That is a feature. If it hits something, it will shut off. I don't know why it didn't stop inside my hand. But um, if we wanted to, we can take Flying Man off and just have like this cool little hover type RC thing here. And Flying Man doesn't weigh hardly anything. But we'll go ahead and take off. Ooh, is it going to be able to take off? I don't know if it's going to be able to take off without that. I might have to find something to sit this on um, because Flying Man actually allowed it to be up off the ground. That's going to hit propellers if it's off there. So if you want to do this, you are going to have to find something to sit this on. And that's not going to work. doesn't clear the propellers. How about this? There, this will work. Check it out. There we go. So we're going to get this back up in the air. Yeah, now it's a bat. It's just like a little mini bat cruising around. It's not as cool. It's not as cool uh, without Flying Man on top of it. Really low profile though. That's actually pretty neat. I like Flying Man on it. So, obviously we're not going to be able to land it like this either. Unless, let's see. Nope, bam. We could just do the default by hitting something and again the propellers aren't coming off and uh, the motors will shut down that's a nice feature all toy grade drones i think should have where if you bump into something the motor shut off but we are back on flying man capabilities here down and in and up amzo flying man back in action what up did his head turn was his head always turned that far i don't know i don't know if uh, i changed it maybe he has a swivel head let's uh Again, I, I thought, there, I was going to say, I thought I could land it in my hand here. Um, I 
his head, man. Look at his head. It's all twisted. Let's see if that actually pivots. Let's see if it pivots. It does pivot. Swivelable head. Is that a word? Swivelable. 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 <laughs> um, this is good fun. Good fun. And again, cheap fun, man. And if you have a, a hobby grade style controller and you want to fly your toy grades with it, you're going to need a JP4 and 1, or you're going to need to pick up a jumper. Uh, myself, the protocol this is actually running off of, uh, spoiler alert, is a Potensic protocol. Um, the radio itself, out of the box, has a Potensic protocol that says incomplete or not valid or something. So I took my JP4 and 1 off of my T12. And I updated it, and I popped it in here, and bam, now we're working. And I can also fly a Potestic drone that I have. I haven't tried a bunch of different models, but the A20 we can fly. It does also have a Traxxas. has a Traxxas protocol in here, and again, I believe uh, it said... I don't know. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to believe. The internal module has a Traxxas protocol. I'm not sure if it was incomplete or not, but updating the JP4 and 1, I know it's definitely good to go because I flashed the most current firmware on it. And uh, I think those are for RC cars. I think the Traxxas protocols are for RC cars. This thing seems to have a little bit of life as far as flight time goes. It's so cool. I, I dude. Look, look at it. It's like a little G.I. Joe. Man, that's exactly what it is. That's probably why I like it. I used to play with small G.I. Joes, not the ones that you would dress up in clothing or anything. Um, but small plastic G.I. Joes that hinged at the arms and legs. Dude, this is a mini G.I. Joe um, drone. Woo! Easy there, flying man. Almost took off my head. There is only a small LED on this. And you can kind of see it through the USB port. Might be able to see it if we get down. Yes. It's on the top there. I don't know if you can see it. Really nice flyer though. Definitely a dope inside flyer. Man, flying man. Flying man. Coming to a street near you. It's so cool. It is so cool. I don't care what anybody says. Let's see if Fly Man can do some funnels. Little baby funnels. Little baby funnels. Could probably increase my rates on this controller and make this guy go nuts. Like just make him be a complete wall hitter. What do you mean by wall hitter, J Drone? There's that little kid, Twilight Zone. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, well, little kid, what I mean by a wall hitter is make the pitch so ridiculously crazy that it's almost impossible to control inside. But that would allow it to be an outdoor flyer in wind if we did increase those rates. Go left, right, forward. Whoa! And there you go. I did not try to do that, but again, that shows that uh which we'll call it that shows that uh little feature of it shutting off if it hits anything but all right guys i think we are done with flying man that was a quick look at it we're still not you see the red light we're still we didn't hit the lvc so this thing probably flies for a good period of time and uh i'm stoked i like it and again we jump from itty bitty controller BAM! It's definitely jumpable. That makes toy grade drones in my book super sellable. I would bank flying motorcycle guy would be jumpable as well because they're probably operating off the same protocol. Um, and again, it's a Potensic protocol. The A20 utilizes almost the same exact radio. Flying man! Do -do 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 flying man on the J Drone channel. If you haven't subscribed, do, 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 please subscribe. Check you later.